Hi, I'm Sasha Segan from PCMag.com, and this is Amazon's new Fire HD 8 tablet. This is a low-cost tablet that's uh, good for consuming Amazon content, uh, some web browsing, and some limited games, but not really much else. But if what you want is a tablet to do a little bit of zoom on and watch video, this is a good $89 device. So the first thing to notice about this $89 tablet is, of course, it comes with ads on board. The lock screen has ads on it. You can spend a little bit of money extra to get the ads removed. When you open it up, you get to Amazon's custom interface over Android 9. Now, this is not Google Android. This is Amazon's own Android-based OS, which does not have the Google App Store in it. This is really important. Amazon's App Store has a lot fewer apps than Google's App Store does, and it's hard to install apps that aren't on Amazon's App Store. So what you're mostly doing with this is consuming Amazon content. Alexa, show me a recipe for dry fried string beans. Alexa, choose number one. Dry fried string beans from Food Network takes 35 minutes to make and has four stars with one rating. You can ask me to add the ingredients to your shopping list or say start recipe and I'll walk you through the recipe step by step. This tablet basically works as an Echo Show, a screen enabled device that's uh, voice activated, can show you videos, play music, do timers, act as a alarm clock, all the stuff that, they're use, that you're used to from an Amazon Echo. So now if you want to play Amazon music, if you want to watch Amazon video or Netflix or Hulu, but less so, if you want to read Amazon books, uh, this tablet is also fine. Here's what a book looks like. The screen isn't great. It's an 8 inch 1280 by 800 screen, but it's fine. It's definitely fine for reading books that are like this. Now, if you're tending to read comics, for instance, you'll find that the screen is fine for standard one page layouts, but it's not quite high res enough for two page spreads. Let's take a look at some of the other things here. Now, there's a two megapixel camera on the front. There's a two megapixel camera on the back. Standard headphone jack, USB-C port for charging. It's the first Amazon Fire tablet to have USB-C, which can make it easier if you have a lot of other USB-C devices around your house. The tablet has a MediaTek processor running at two gigahertz, and honestly, it's not fast. It's not awful, but you can definitely feel some sluggishness when you're scrolling. Now let me get to the weakest point of this tablet, and that is when you are trying to use apps that are not the built-in apps and are not Amazon apps. If you want to use apps, you're dependent on Amazon's App Store, and Amazon's App Store lacks many popular apps. For instance, if your school or workplace uses Microsoft Teams, you're not going to find that in Amazon's App Store. Now, you can sideload third-party apps, um, and you can download other app stores like APK Pure. But there's no official way to get Google Play onto this, and there's no official way to get any of the Google apps, including YouTube, onto this tablet. Now, Amazon has a lot of great subscription services that you can use with this tablet. For instance, there's uh, Kindle reading subscriptions, and there's Amazon Free Time for kids. Free time is a great use for these kinds of tablets. It loads up the tablet with a lot of video, a lot of uh, kids apps, like apps from Tokoboka that are very popular with kids. Uh, really turns this into a backseat or couch side entertainment station for smaller kids. Because this is a very plastic tablet, it's relatively durable. It's not waterproof but it's not going to crack as easily or as dangerously as, say, an iPad will. So the value of this tablet really comes down to what you want to do with it. At $89, you really can't expect too much here. 
If you're mostly going through Amazon content or watching Netflix, it's a great, easy to use tablet. But if you're looking for something more general purpose, you need to find a tablet with the Google Play Store on it. 